I'm Brenda and welcome back to Daily Dose Of. Today I thought I would share with you guys my 10 step nighttime skincare routine. I have a little bit of makeup on, a little bit of false eyelashes, I'm gonna walk you guys through everything I do to get my face ready for bed. First things first, we're gonna remove the eyelashes. Lately, I've been using a brand called Glamnetic, so these are actually magnetic eyelashes, and I can just gently peel them off. Peel the other guy off too. Pop it back into its little case. Now, if I were to use eyelashes with actual eyelash glue, I would use a little bit of my micellar water on a cotton swab and gently loosen the glue. But with the magnetic ones, don't have to. The only drawback I have for the Glamnetic eyelashes is for normal eyelashes, I usually snip off a little bit on the end because they're always too big for me. And with the magnetic ones, there's actually no room to do any snipping because then you're cutting off a magnet. But I just really tuck it into the corners of my eyes, but I just wish it was a little smaller. Once my eyelashes are off, I go in with my cleansing balm. This is the Vanilla & Co Clean at Zero. It's a K-Beauty brand. I've loved it for quite a few years. It comes with this little, I don't know, scooper mabobber. Take a little bit, put it on my hand. So with clean, dry hands, I rub together the oil, warm it up, melt, and then apply it to my face. And this is just supposed to melt all my makeup off. I'm a huge fan and believer of double cleansing. So after this, we're actually gonna go into another step, but just go in upward circular motions. Make sure you're really gentle with your face because it's your money maker. When I have eyeshadow and eyeliner, I work on my eyes last, so I'm not spreading raccoon eyes through my whole face but this is just to kind of work to dissolve that foundation. And then I work on my eyes. I just kind of use my middle and ring finger, gentle circular motions, really dissolve everything. Then I wet my hands and come back. And this is just supposed to emulsify the oil, which really, really helps break down that product. And once you really work that into your skin, wash it off with some warm water. I forgot a towel. Okay. Once all the cleansing oil is cleaned off, I'm actually going back in with micellar cleansing water because something I've noticed with the magnetic eyeliner is it doesn't completely come off in the wash. So I just gotta kinda go back and work it off by myself. You can also choose to use a cotton round with it. Honestly, personal preference, this is just all I have right now. Once my eyeliner residue is gone, I'm gonna wet my face again, and I'm going in with the Fenty Skin Cleanser. I've been loving this lately, and I actually have another video that I filmed trying just the whole Fenty Skin line, and this thing actually removes makeup quite well on its own. I just personally like the double cleansing, so I go in with a cleansing balm, but as far as cleansers go, this is very good. I also love that it lathers really well. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love cleansers that lather. It just makes me feel like I'm actually being cleaned. Something amazing about this cleanser is it actually removes waterproof mascara, which very few cleansers do. Even though they all have on that bottle, we remove all makeup. They're lying. A lot of the times. My waterproof mascara just doesn't come off or it'll like really sting my eyes, but this doesn't. And so just slowly work this into your skin and wash it off with some warm water. Always pat your skin dry. All right, once my skin is all clean, it's time to go into my many layers of moisturizing. First up, I have my Kiehl's Calendula Toner. I've been using this for years. It's so good at moisturizing. Toner's just that really good after cleansing step to really close your pores and rebalance your skin. 
I'm not a big cotton pad girl. I just put all the product into my hand and pat it into my face because I find that this wastes the least amount of products. Every time I use a cotton pad, it just soaks up so much. Next is my holy grail product. This is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. Whenever I've saved enough credit card points is when I go and purchase this because this little bottle is $100. But Essence is basically a primer for your moisturizer. It's just got the smallest, deepest penetrating molecules to really put those amino acids and moisturization back into your face. And I'm honestly a little generous with this, a little bit of a puddle in your hand and same thing you're just gonna pat it all over your face this is definitely one where you don't want to be using that cotton pad because you're going to be wasting a lot of very expensive product now on to my serum i have two different ones that i alternate between one is the cos rx advanced snail 96 mucin powder essence and one is the fenty beauty fat water now neither of these are actually true serums this is marketed as an essence but it's got a very gel like serum texture and this is a toner serum so it's also got that liquidy serum-y texture but i just alternate between the two anything to just get that skin moisturized today we're gonna just go with the fenty i like how it's not like a removable lid but kind of a personal preference it's a little gel like rub it in my hands pat it into my face i'm a big skin patter unless i'm cleansing then it's like when i'm actually scrubbing I've been really liking the Fenty Beauty line. It soaks into your skin real well. It's just not fragrance free, so that's the one downside, but not too bothersome. So two to three times a week, I actually go in with a little retinol. This is the Tretinoin Cream 0.025%. And I actually got this for my dermatologist via a prescription. There are actually a lot of over-the-counter retinols that you can get from a store. I just had a dermatologist at the time, so she prescribed this for me. And retinol is basically a very heavy dose of vitamin A. It really helps target dark spots as well as wrinkles. What it's basically doing is helping your skin turn over, be a little bit quicker. So I usually just take a very small little pea size amount and I dab it on my skin. So this place, my forehead has non-existent premature wrinkles. It used to have really bad acne in my temple, so there's a little scarring here that we've been working on. And now when I break out, it's usually hormonal, so it's down by my chin, so we work that into here. There's only a teeny tiny bit left. I usually just kind of pat it around the rest of my face. If you are adding retinol to your skincare routine, make sure you are washing your face in the morning because it makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So wash your face in the morning and definitely, definitely apply sunscreen, which you should be doing anyways, even when you're not wearing retinol. Next, I'm going in with my moisturizer. This is the First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. Every winter is when I whip this guy out. It's a little bit of a heavier, thicker cream, but the weather is just really dry in the suburbs of Chicago, so I just kind of need this in the winter. And just make sure I'm soaking it into my face. I never forget your neck. Next up, I have my eye cream. This is something I'm really bad about using every day. In fact, I feel like I use it once a month. But the other day I was putting on under eye concealer and my skin was starting to flake a little bit. So I gotta be on top of my moisture. This is the Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream. It's honestly the best moisturizing eye cream I've ever tried. It's very thick and so a little goes a long way. I use my ring fingers because they are your weakest fingers and you don't want to break those little capillaries. Just dot under the eyes and kind of go around the orbital bone. Be really gentle. You don't want to pull your skin, but you also want to make sure that it soaks into your skin. And last, but certainly not least, I go in with the Ordinary's Rose Hip Oil. I am on the very, very tail end of this bottle. There we go. 
usually just get, I don't know, three, four to five drops. I'm honestly a little generous. And pat this into my face. So oil has the largest molecules in comparison to serums and moisturizers. So you wanna be putting this on as your very last step because if you put it on first, nothing else is gonna penetrate into your skin. And this is just a good topper to make sure your skin stays moisturized. That brings us to the end of my skincare routine. I know this probably sounds really, really excessive. Do what works for your skin, listen to your body. If this is not the routine for you, then this isn't the routine for you. I would say the one unskippable thing is if you are wearing makeup, remove 100% of your makeup every single night. Don't ever go to bed with your makeup on. It's just so bad for your skin. Think about all those chemicals just sitting there. You don't want that. So always, always remove all of your makeup. After that, it's just whatever you prefer. Are you trying to target dry patches? Are you trying to target breakouts? Are you trying to target dark spots? Are you trying to target anti-aging wrinkles? Whatever your concerns are is what the next step's for. My main thing is moisturizing, so I added a solid eight steps to help with that. Let me know if you guys have used any of the products I've shared today, or if you have any new ones to recommend to me, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.